Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here. Today I'm back at the church parking lot with that Tower Hobbies P-51 Mustang. It's one of the three airplanes I'll be giving away the day after Christmas. And I put a new prop on it, so it should fly a little better. But it's still not the right size. <laughs> but that other one, man, it was chewed down to about nothing. And way out of balance. So this should work out a little bit better. So... I'm excited to get it back in the air and get some flying done. I was having a little bit of trouble with the stream, so hopefully everybody's getting it pretty good now. Let's get this airplane in the air and see what happens. Wind's coming from over here in the tall grass. Nice easy takeoff. Put the gear up. I'm about three quarters on the throttle, so it's doing pretty good because with that chewed up prop, I was having to go full throttle all the time. I was running out of daylight again today, but good news is I'm off till after the first of the year now. So plenty of time to get out and fly. I moved down here kind of center of the parking lot today. Hopefully it will help with the landing. That's, <laughs> that is the goal. Let's be able to get it smoothed out in a nice, easy landing. Don't want to get it down there at them trees. This airplane is the Berlin Express and it actually doesn't have the right wing on it. It has the Shangri-La wing and I have the wing that's supposed to be on this plane in the basement ready to fix this week to put back on here and the fuse for the Shangri-La is sitting there waiting for this wing so I should have two of them ready to fly this week or this next week just love this airplane took it up nice and high because we were kind of in that angle towards this lamp post don't want to get close to it I like the stripes on the Berlin Express and the wing has those big sections of black and white stripes too so that's why I'm I'm interested in getting that one back under this fuselage because I really like the way it looks I was looking at the reviews for the old listings for the discontinued Tower Hobbies Mustang and Consistently, consistently in all the paint schemes, it had a high four star rating out of five. Everybody liked this airplane. And on um, a lot of clubs, they had set up pylon racing clubs for this airplane. So it didn't matter what paint scheme you bought, but you needed this airplane. And then you either pylon race them uh, straight out of the box or some clubs allowed you know, hop up motors and props and 
do whatever you wanted to them as long as the airframe was the original Tower Hobbies Mustang. But it, it really handles good. The only problem I had when I first got it was hand launching it because it doesn't take off of grass too well. But what I found out was if you kind of do like the discus launch type thing, I, I do pretty good. Now I know other people don't like to hand toss their airplanes that way and they probably have a better way of doing it for them but for me uh, I found out that if I throw it overhand it almost always noses into the ground and so for me that discus from the wingtip much better for me and put those gear down and we'll start looking at landings it is getting dark fast we just want to kind of sink it down in there kind of like that so let's take it back around don't have to get it back up to full speed we're about half throttle and i don't want to get the wings too far out of level or it'll slip down too low here we go oh right up my car of course <laughs> But we're on the ground and I think the wind is soft enough I might be able to bring it back around yes and that's one thing these little foamies they'll weather vane if you got any kind of wind and then you can't drive it back to you unless you're on a tricycle landing gear and then it tends to steer but these tail draggers not so much So I see a few guys have hopped on. I do appreciate it, guys. I really appreciate all the support everybody's been given. And uh, I'm just having fun with RC, guys. That's what this channel was designed to be, was just so that people could follow along as I got out here and flew. And uh, just, just so happy and thankful that I was able to get out and fly today. It had been a long day at work, and uh, I'm looking forward to this next couple of weeks, not having to work, working on airplanes and, and other things. And, of course, the big giveaway the day after Christmas, we're going to hopefully somebody that didn't get everything they wanted for Christmas is going to get a brand new airplane. And uh, in case it was confusing, there will be three different winners for these three airplanes. And uh, if you don't know what I'm even talking about, couple days ago I've got a, a video out there about a giveaway go check it out uh, the directions are in the description box below but go see what it is I'm giving away and there it'll be a a similar airplane to the one I flew today only it's a silver uh, bubble canopy style p51 it's a real nice one and I'm excited to give it away to somebody I really love these tower hobbies Mustangs I've flown a, flown them a lot over the last couple years, and uh, I sure wish Tower had the ability to bring them back out, but I'm sure the mold has been broken. And uh, anyhow, if you guys like the channel, like these videos, please subscribe, hit that notification bell because you want to know when I'm going to fly live. Hate for you to miss a minute of it. And until next time. I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here. See you, Dave. Thanks for watching. No problem, Ken. Thanks, Alan.